So the next question here, uh, the community was wondering, you guys did mention Petri flasks, um, that you're kind mm -hmm. of monitoring it, taking a look at it. Um, yeah. And I think a lot of people are maybe worried that in their current state with no cooldown, they're, they're really powerful. Um, are there any updates here on, on what you guys plan or is it more going to be just like a monitoring type of situation um, as things roll out? You know, I, th I think sometimes we say, oh, we're going to monitor it and people might think like, oh, that doesn't mean anything. It, it really does in this situation. This is probably the the uh, the kind of like hot button issue that we've talked about the most uh, internally amongst ourselves. And there's been a lot of opinions, like great opinions uh, uh, on like, let's just nerf it into the ground or keep it as is. And I think uh, the the most important thing is is to under, to just kind of keep in mind that that's not like day one, that's not going to be a thing that's going to be available to everybody. That's going to be a kind of a, a limited commodity very early on. And yeah, as the server matures, it might, it might be a little bit more prolific. It might be a little bit more common, but one of the things that really kind of stuck out with us and made us kind of hesitate to make a big change to this is that, you know, there's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of kind of uh, uh, players that are sort of approaching hardcore for the first time. They might be experienced wow players, but you know, it takes on average around 200 hours to level a character, a character to 60. Petri flasks aren't really available. I think their minimum level is 50. So you really, that's only an end game thing. And, you know, for some folks, you know, who are very comfortable leveling hardcore characters are very comfortable re-rolling. It's not a big deal to them to just die and then re-roll. Someone like you, it might be content, you know, it might be a fun <laughs> moment to, to have with your audience, but for kind of Bob the Hunter, who's just sort of like gigging along, he he managed to get to 60 and he, he goes to his uh, first, you know, a molten core with his guild or something. Like if he accidentally pulls something or over pulls or it's like, do we, is it okay to have no escape to that situation and your whole guild, whole guild wipes right then and there? Um, so we do think it's kind of important to have some sort of protection against like, oops, a bad thing happened. I mean, even with Petri's, I've seen guilds lose 15 people yeah. in a, in a mm -hmm. bad poll. You know, it still happens. You can still die. Um, but it's just a little bit of extra like safety net for folks. Now in its current form might be too good. Honestly, like I don't think anyone's saying it's not powerful because it's definitely very powerful. And I would maybe encourage people who are like, I'm going to be a Petri mogul and I'm going to, you know, own the market in Petri's. Maybe Maybe don't put all your eggs in that basket, because mm -hmm. if we're going to make a, a, a swift change, it will probably be to that. So, uh, you know, uh, so that was a lot of words to basically say we are going to keep a very close eye on it. We're thinking about it a lot. And uh, if it gets to be a problem, we're going to put a put a put a stop to it pretty quick. Great. I mean, geez, that's as good of a uh, answer as we could have hoped for. I think that's really exciting. Um, mm -hmm. I think there, there's players on kind of both sides of the debate and, yeah. uh, you know, w you know, whatever you think, I think this is a, a good kind of middle ground where you guys are going to keep an eye. If it's, if it's going crazy, then some type of change where, yeah, whatever, uh, fix that you guys come up with. Uh